Hey guys, quick video to show you how we set up the Delta 5 race timer. Um, this is pretty much how we do it out in the field. Um, obviously we've got the race timer here and it's plugged in and it's getting power from that barrel jack right there. And this is connected to a cheap router that I picked up for about 35 bucks or so. And obviously we have a laptop. So right now the timer does not have a static IP address, so the router is going to assign it one whenever you plug it in and start it up. So you will have to find the IP address that is assigned to it. Um, in the future, I will give the timer a static IP address, so it's the same thing every time. Anyways, right now, if you go to that IP address or whatever it's assigned to, set up that PHP, you'll come to this page. Uh, here you can set up the, the triggers for each receiver and it'll display the trigger values down here. Um, you'll also notice that um, there's buttons down here. This will let you increase or decrease the trigger values. Um, that way you can kind of fine tune uh, that trigger set point. And over here, if you go to what, you know that same IP address, admin.php, you'll come to this page. Here you can start and stop the races, uh, clear the race results, and it'll display the times down here. So Let's see, let's go back to the setup page. So right now I've got my tiny loop and this guy is set up on 5685. So I'm just going to put this guy you know, near the timer. I know that might be a little bit too close, but that's okay, we'll try it anyways. So if you hit this trigger, it will read the signal coming off of the tiny loop. So there, there it is, it picked it up at 247, and you can hit these values to raise or lower the trigger numbers. Now, the, when it says zero, these zeros means that receiver is turned off. Um, so you can just hit this again, and it'll reset it back to zero. There you go, it's turned off right now. So you can kind of turn them on and off at will. So let me redo trigger one. And just for giggles, I'm going to lower the trigger by five just to show you that it, there you go. So anyways, once you have that set, you can do this for each receiver. You can come back out here to the admin page and then I'm just gonna scoot this guy a little bit away. And you can start the race now the indication that you get that the race has started right now is just this little swirling circle up here. Um, I do plan or hope to add some visual indication that the race started, maybe make this button change or whatnot. Anyways, so when the tiny root flies by the first time, it doesn't give you any indication that it triggered that first start. But you know, hopefully we'll take care of that in the future as well. But anyways, when it flies by the second time, there you go, it grabs that first time. And let's do it one more time. There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stop this for right now. So you can stop it. Basically what it does, it'll stop pulling and right now, so every now and then you will get this false lap right here, but for some reason it's always zero and it always repeats this, the last time that was in. So I'm not too sure exactly what's going on with that and I'll have to figure out some way of filtering it. It doesn't do it all the time, but it does happen every now and then, but I've just kind of learned to ignore it for right now. Um, the other thing that um, this thing is set for, since you have the, the router, and right now I do have Wi-Fi turned on, um, I have this iPad set up that's going to that same address. So this is kind of a spectator page that's basically displaying the same data there that you can see. And this will update live as well. And obviously it doesn't have the start and stop buttons and the clear race buttons. And obviously over here, um, it's missing two of the, uh, receivers. I just haven't put those back in yet. I forgot to update this particular page, but I'll take care of that. Um, so, so somebody was asking about that, that um, we can have spectators log into the router and they can watch the times come in live. 
and that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing. So once you have the, the race data, um, right now when you hit this clear race button, it basically just clears out the, t the data that's in the database. So now everything's reset back to zero, basically. But um, in the future, I, I do plan on having some type of method to save all this data and remember what round, what heat, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there you go. That's all there is to it.